Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back with another Dragalia Lost video. This time, as you know, the Hunt for Harmony is coming back. This banner's coming back as well, uh, which has Laranoia and I forget the name of the chicken. It's called Simurg, but that's not the only banner that's coming back. We're also going to get a brand new summon showcase, so today's video is going to be all about the two new... Uh, one unit and the other one's a dragon. Adventurers, basically. No, well, units. One's an adventurer and one's a dragon. That's the right way to say it. We're going to go through them and talk about them a bit. You know, give my, give some thoughts about them. See how they are. Uh, so, yeah, that's today's video. If you end up liking it, please leave a like. If you have a specific thought about these characters as we go through, share it with me. I'll gladly read it. I don't have... Funny enough, more people are responding now. And some people who actually comment are better at the game than me. So I just, I just kind of read them and go, hmm, very interesting. <laughs> so let's get into it, huh? First new adventure, it is Lazari. Says, I, I'll protect thee, smith the arm, engage. That's how she talks. Also, it's a girl because I saw the, the video. I can't actually play the Twitter video for you. Actually, let me, let me check if I can. I need to hear the music. Okay, here it is on Twitter. Well, don't you should hopefully not be able to hear that music because if you can, then unfortunately I'm about to get copyright struck. And anyway, just to show off some of what she does, this is Lazari. In the English version, she actually has a Scottish accent, but here's some of some of her moves look like. Big old waterfall, and then here's how the dragon looks like, which is a bunny. It's a bunny. It's like both of those are dragons. It seems like based on the name of it. Um, and here's the best part about this one. I'm actually glad we can see this. Disco party. That's right. We finally have a dragon that has the power of disco on their side and anime. All right, let's get back to the actual stuff. Okay, Lazari. Uh, a ro a Rokon blacksmith, passionate about her craft inside her workshop in a human town. She piled her trade alone, but her contact with the blacksmith sisters and others has helped her to reach a new height as a smith. Smithy Spin deals wide damage to enemies directly ahead and inflicts frostbite. If the skill is used when the user is high power mode, a variant called Hyper Smithy Spin will be used instead. Hyper Smithy Spin deals water damage to the target and nearby enemies and increases the damage dealt by the user's next skill by 20%. Smithy Arms Forge Mode increases the entire team's strength by 15% for 15 seconds and their critical rate by 10 per seconds for 15 seconds, and if this skill is used when the user is in high power mode, a variant called Smithy Arm Power Mode will be used instead. Smithy Arm Power Mode deals water damage to the target and nearby enemies and immediately readies the Smithy Spin or Hyper Smithy Spin skill for use. Co-op ability is defense 15%. Uh, chain co-op ability is frostbite equals user strength 13%. If a user's team is attuned to water, increase their strength by 13% for 15 seconds when successfully inflict an enemy with frostbite. After activating this ability while not activating again for 10 seconds benefits the whole team. She has frostbite and punisher, burn resistance at 100%, HP 70% equals skill damage 35%. Alright, so as long as she's above 70% uh, HP, she's going to be dealing a good amount of damage. Uh, so yeah, what's... Hmm. I think she seems pretty solid from what I can tell right here. The one thing to kind of explain how this one works, because like you know, you know, it's all saying like, oh, enter this mode and stuff. If you are familiar with Rena, who is one of the blacksmith sisters, I believe she's Blade. She has very she. It seems like she would play very similar. Um, where you would want to use the second skill. Well, Rena has this thing where when you use her second skill, it immediately readies up her first skill, and then you just keep on going. So I'd imagine this would be kind of similar to that. The one thing that I'm not 100% sure on is how the power mode stuff is going to factor into stuff, because they're not super giving us a lot of detail about power mode. But even just like going through what she does here, she seems pretty good. The question is, what do you use her on? Well, she actually can be used in HBH in terms of just because she has burn resistance and stuff. Um, hmm, it's very interesting uh, because Axe is a is something shared by uh, Gala Ellie, but not everyone has Gala Ellie. Let me quickly show off Gala Ellie. I, I totally do have her. Not to be like a weird flex on anything. So yeah, they share the same co-op ability, except for she has combo time. Hmm. So probably in HPH they would try and do the same. Uh, they would try and do the same tactic. So the oh, why am I in this mode? So to kind of explain at least from my perspective how I have always approached um, Hybrun Hilda, 
is that I've always done it with um, one of the healer who I believe is called pronounce Jing. I can't, I can't know for sure because her name is, um, I believe Chinese and I don't have her. So I can't, I never see her name a whole bunch, but one, it's, it's the, the, the five healer. One player plays her and this is specifically for expert, I should say. Um, and then Ellie basically does the baiting and then two Cerise, two monster hunter Cerises are in the background and constantly raining down fire until they're dead, basically. Um, so I don't know how she fits in there. You definitely don't need two Monster Hunter Cerisa, so she could definitely take the role of that, depending on... Hmm. I don't know. I think she is good. I just need to see... We need, I, This is one of those cases where we need to wait and see. I don't like to say a unit is like super amazing or good, just because I'm not 100% sure you actually need to see them in action, I feel. I feel a lot of people... Um, specifically just base it off of the skill and to be fair a lot of units can just be you can look at their kit and you can automatically know oh this is amazing this is busted um but for me i always like to just like wait and see like for grace for example when i did the video on grace i had no idea that she would be i knew that the shield would be good i didn't know that they'd be so good that it's actually kind of impossible to die on anything you bring her with <laughs> Um, not impossible, but you get what I'm saying. Is that I like to wait and see. But for this specific mode, for this specific girl, I think it'd be possible to be like, maybe we could see her replacing Ellie if you don't have Gal Ellie, because not everyone can have a limited Gala Banner unit that is like super hard to get for a lot of people if you did not specifically pull on her, um, either in a Platinum Summon, where she had a one in four chance, I believe, for her specific banner, or you got, you were here when she actually was released and had a featured rate up. Like, otherwise, it's kind of luck of the draw if you can get Gala Ellie. So, let's see. Wait and see. I do like the fact that she buffs the entire team, too, though. That's a very nice... That that seems, like, kind of worth it. Especially now that, like, co-op abilities no longer clash with each other in the, um, when you play co-op. You could definitely have two. You could have her, like, buffing the entire team, making Ellie stronger, making Cerise stronger, making everything stronger. So, you know, we'll wait and see is what I'm basically trying to say. Uh, we got Gabahin and Kredin. Gobin and Kredin? Gobin and Kredin, sure. A dragon who loves cute, dreamy things and is skilled at mending weapons. She always is at the side of her little sister, Kredni. Oh, they're sisters. If you give her a weapon, she can certain it will come back adorable. <laughs> Creates a buff zone that lasts for 10 seconds and gradually fills the skill gauge of adventures inside of it. Wow, okay. Um, I forgot about that second part at the bottom. Water strength HP for HP. Water strength 45% up. Uh, if you're water, you get increased strength of 45%. Water skill recharge too. If the user is attuned to water, fill 35% of the skill's skill gauge after using that skill. So this dragon and this is coming from specific people I've talked to in Trash Alliance, including someone who says that they are a uh, Gala Ellie main. Um, this dragon seems like this is going to be the, the be the dragon you use with Gala Ellie. At least that's the current idea of looking at just just based on what they do. The fact that you can get those skills back that makes it so that she has. I think I have the exact numbers from uh, Soren. Let me double check. Just so I know. Because he plays a lot of Gala Ellie, and he was very upset <laughs> with the idea of having to pull for this dragon before Fire Emblem uh, heroes come back. Uh, the dragon looks OP for buffers like Geli. It also means that she can use her uh, skill to 50% faster when skill haste barely affects it. It's basically 50% skill haste except no diminishing return when stacking with other skill haste abilities and also applies to auto refill skills or 53.8% haste to more to be more precise. And then he says, Ugh, I really want that dragon, and then he throws up the Grimer emote, and that's from the Trash Alliance Discord. Uh, and that's from Soren. and to give another perspective, I got Lerp right here, who says, the new dragon is probably only good for Geli, though I'm not sure it's worth it for going for, for it, particularly when Geli doesn't have a super high damage on her own. The only news is I really want is though, that I want more water spirals. <laughs> Uh, the new dragon will likely be meta, and the new Axe Girl is basically a water version of Rena. That's his thoughts for that too. And I, these are two players who are extremely skilled at the game, and Lerp has taught me basically everything I know about um, Dragalia Lost. And Soren is the person who literally 
it's he's lerp but on a less consistent base. No, that's unfair. To, <laughs> he's also very good. Let me just put it that way. I don't know why I'm trying to tier list the Trash Alliance members. Um, they're both fantastic. Both better at the game than I am. Anyway, so yeah, this is a good ass dragon. This is obviously um, bait. But no, not really bait, because they're both extremely useful. It can't be bait if one unit ends up being used for the actual, um, uh, ends up being the best dragon for the actual user. In that case, it's just foolish if you don't summon for him if that is your main. So I don't know, if you use Gala Ellie, I'm actually would be very interested. If you use Gala Ellie, what are your thoughts about the dragon in particular? Um, as someone who doesn't really use Gala Ellie, it's kind of an easy banner for me to kind of skip along just because like I can easily get any one of these banners, any one of these units on a random pull and be perfectly happy. Like I'm pretty set on my water team at the moment, especially since like the only unit I really need is, is Hunter Cerise and that's the unit I prefer to use most just because I'm very bad at baiting uh, currently. But yeah, these are the units. Um, and they're going to be coming April 11th? Yeah, April 12th. So, at reset, we'll see them. But yeah, very interesting. I like Lazari. I like her design. Uh, it's a very interesting. I actually thought she was a dude, but maybe that just shows uh, that I need to see more women without revealing armor, I suppose. <laughs> Anyway, that's today's video. I hope you liked it. Again, tell me your thoughts about these units. Are you summoning? Are you not? I'm not summoning, as I've already mentioned before, because I'm afraid I'm afraid of limited banners on Fire Emblem Heroes. And in terms of this banner, unless they get a crazy mana spiral, you should not summon on this banner. You should just stay, steer clear. You don't. Unfortunately, um, Lorano, who was very good at for her time when she was released, has been basically uh, replaced by Hunter Cerise because that's really the only bow you use in water content at the moment, at least. At least that's for me. Again, I guess not everyone can have Hunter Cerise, and that's a damn shame. Oh well. That's today's video, so until next time, everyone, I'll see you guys in a brand new event. Bye bye. Have a good day. And, um,. Subscribe. Remember to do that. I play other stuff. I, I play Pokemons. I play Fate Grand Order. Somehow. Almost a thousand hours. Can you believe that? I should stop.